Good day ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk to you all about a chapter that forms part of my PhD and that is the bioaccumulation and trophic transfer of total mercury through the aquatic food webs of the Pongola floodplain. Mercury is a trace metal that occurs naturally in the earth's crust, however human driven activities have led to elevated mercury concentrations in the environment. As we all know, mercury is a global toxic pollutant that persists bioaccumulate and biomagnifies in the environment. It is also considered to be one of the top 10 chemicals of major health concerns. The organic form called methylmercury is the more toxic form of mercury even at low concentrations. This form is also more readily available for uptake by biota and biomagnifies in the, in the food chain. As a result of this biomagnification, mercury does not only impact aquatic ecosystems and biota, but impacts human health as well. South Africa are the second highest emitter of mercury in the world and only behind China in emissions. This is largely due to coal combustion and gold mining activities found in South Africa. Although South Africa is a, is a major producer of gold, production has declined over the years. Thus, in South Africa, the largest anthropogenic source of mercury emissions is through coal combustions. More than 90% of South Africa's electricity is generated through these coal-fired power plants, which generates our, our electricity. One of the key characteristics of mercury is its ability for atmospheric uh, transport and deposits far from its source. Although no mining activities and coal combustion are found in close proximity of the Ndumu Game Reserve or Ndumu area, there is evidence through modeling that suggests uh, that coal-fired power plants releases mercury into the atmosphere and uh, it deposits in the Ndumu area. The communities part of the Lower Pungala floodplain are very reliant on water and fish from the, from the floodplain, hence the importance of studying mercury levels in the floodplain. The aim of our study was to determine the level of mercury contamination, accumulation and biomagnification in two freshwater lakes and rivers in the Lower Pungala floodplain. The aim will be answered through the determining the baseline total mercury concentrations in sediment and biota in various aquatic ecosystems and then determining the trophic transfer of total mercury through trophic magnification factors. The study area was two freshwater lakes and rivers part of the Nduma Game Reserve. The Game Reserve is situated in northern KwaZulu-Natal, uh, South Africa. The Game Reserve was declared a Ramsar site back in 1997 and due to its, its unique wetlands and for the protection of wildlife. Mercury sample preparation was done by freeze drying sediment and fish tissue followed by digesting the dried samples using a microwave digestion system. Approximately 0.2 gram of fish muscle and sediment was weighed before adding 3 milliliters of 65% nitric acid and 1 milliliter of hydrochloric acid to the fish muscle and 7.5 milliliters of 32% hydrochloric acid and 2.5 milliliter of hydrogen peroxide was added to the sediment samples. Invertebrate families were digested using a Teflon multiple container containing 1 milliliter of 65% nitric acid per cell. Digested under pressure for 24 hours at 60 degrees Celsius and decanted to a 15 milliliter falcon tube before diluted with 1% nitric acid up to 15 milliliters. Sediment and fish tissue were all decanted into a 15 ml volumetric flask before diluted up to 50 ml with 1% nitric acid. Following sample preparation, the samples were analyzed using a flow injection mercury system or FIRMS 400. Quality insurance was carried out using certified stream sediment reference material and uh, the fish protein certified reference material. The recovery rates for the fish and sediment were 98.7% and 111.3% respectively. So the stable isotope sample preparation was also done by freeze drying uh, all biota before being homogenized into fine powder. Following the homogenization, uh, samples were weighed and encapsulated into tin capsules. For primary producers, plus minus 5 milligram. For consumers, plus minus 1 milligram. And then for vegetation, plus minus 2 milligram was used uh, for the tin capsules. And then uh, samples were analyzed using a elementar elemental analyzer from the University of Duisburg-Essen. 
So for the statistical analysis, uh, the st statistical analysis was done uh, with GraphPad Prism 8 and tested for normality before uh, log transforming the data. Two-way analysis of variance uh, was done to test for significance between total mercury concentrations of similar fish species of the four different aquatic ecosystems. One-way analysis of variance was performed to test for significance in total mercury concentrations of all fish species from the same aquatic ecosystems. Multiple regression anal analysis was performed for trophic position and for fish length to determine uh, biomagnification and whether fish length plays an important role in increasing total mercury concentrations in fish. By accumulation in the aquatic biota of the four different aquatic ecosystems showed significant differences between fish species of the same site. Concentrations in biota from the various sites range from 0.035 microgram to, per gram to 0.83 microgram per gram in the Suta River, while Lake Shawquare ranged between 0.03 to 0.39 microgram per gram. In Lake Inyamiti, the concentrations range from below detection limit, which is indicated by the asterisk, to 0.45 microgram per gram. And then uh, in the Pongalo River, it ranged from 0.007 to 0.47 microgram per gram. It is quite clear that the apex predator in majority of the ecosystems had the highest concentrations of total mercury and was significantly higher than the other fish species uh, in both the river sites. Interestingly, Bracinus in Berry from Lake Shockware had a higher total mercury concentration than the tigerfish Hydrocinus vitatus, while not significantly different to the tigerfish, uh, and it, it also has higher concentrations than the catfish, which is quite surprising. Although these species occupy the same trophic position, there was only significant difference between the catfish and Bracinus in Berry. Lake Inyamiti's tigerfish uh, showed to be similar in in concentrations to uh, gomphilae, the macroinvertebrate family, while being significantly different uh, to the other fish species. It is evident that both rivers were similar in total mercury concentrations uh, in fish species, while the both floodplain lakes were also being similar in total mercury concentrations. Concentrations found during the present study were very similar to a study done in the Willifans River Basin in the Kruger National Park. When looking at specific fish species, these two fish species, Hydrocinus vitatus and Oreochromus mozambicus, were selected, be, uh, le selected due to being uh, abundant across all four sites. It is quite evident that there are significant differences between um, similar species at the four different locations. The apex predator in both rivers were significantly different to the floodplain lakes, while also not significantly different between both rivers. For the Mozambican tilapia, Orichromos mozambicus, the only significant difference was between Lake Shokwe and the Pungala River. Statistical analysis indicated that there are significant differences between sites, between fish species, and then between uh, species and sites. Importantly, fish species, fish species occupying the higher trophic levels, such as Hydrocinus vitatus, are indicative of the higher uh, total mercury concentrations, as significantly higher concentrations was found in species of higher trophic positions than in species such as Omos that has a lower trophic position. Looking at total mercury concentrations, uh, its relationship towards fish length, significantly positive uh, correlations were found in the Usutu River between length of a species and the total mercury concentrations, especially for Clarius charipinus and Xenodontus zambesiensis, meaning as the fish grows, the more uh, total mercury uh, accumulates in the species. While well, positive uh, correlations was found in uh, Shilba intermedias, uh, but it was not a significantly positive correlation. Only Bracinus imberi and Oreochromus mozambicus had a negative correlation with fish length and total mercury concentrations. However, this correlation was not significant. Which uh, Fish length has previously been reported to be one of the numerous determining factors uh, for total mercury bioaccumulation. So that, uh, looking at fish length becomes an important part in the determining uh, concentrations. Lake Shokwe showed a similar trend to its associated river with positive uh, correlations in all species except for Bracinus in Berry. The other difference between Lake Shokwe and the Usutu River was that Oreochromus mozambicus had a significant positive uh, correlation with fish length. 
Other significant uh, correlations include Claudius Haripinus and uh, the tigerfish Hydrocinus vitatus. In Lake Inyamiti and the Pongala River, a perfect correlation was found between fish length and total mercury concentrations, which was all uh, significantly positive. When looking at the relationship between uh, trophic position and total mercury concentrations, one can determine if biomagnification has occurred. And in the majority of the sites, trophic position and total mercury concentration were all positive, except for uh, Lake Inyamiti. Both the Usuti River and its associated floodplain lake had a significant relationship between trophic position and total mercury, whereas the Pongolo River had a positive relationship, yet it was not a significant relationship. Lake Inyamiti were also not significant, but had a negative relationship with traffic magnificat or with uh, traffic position. The reason for this could be that in Lake Inyamiti, fish aren't consumed by the fish species that occupies the top of the food chain, indicating that, that no biomagnification has occurred. Trophic magnification factors uh, represent the average biomagnification through the food, the food chain, and as a result of the, the trophic magnification factors, all three uh, remaining sites from Nduma Game Reserve did in fact indicate biomagnification. So, in conclusion, mercury concentrations found in the four aquatic ecosystems are typical of unpolluted areas. However, were still comparable to, to other studies in Africa. Both rivers within the game reserve were similar in total mercury concentrations. The apex predator Hydrocinus vitatus was significantly higher in the Usutu River than its associated floodplain lake, while no significance was found in the apex predator between both uh, the rivers. The relationships between total mercury and trophic position did indicate biomagnification, except for Lake Inyamiti. A very big thank you to all listening to my presentation. Please feel free to ask me any questions regarding my presentation. Thank you very much.